Whenever I use pink, I'm always reminded of Pepto-Bismol for some reason. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Subliteral Network. I make art and comics, and thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and to leave your feedback in the comments. I post art daily, five days a week, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and this is a roundup of that work, in case you missed it, with a little more detailed description added. You can read my Una the Fae Bunny comics free at radiocomics.com, and please visit my Patreon page if you'd like to support my work. All these links are in my description and bio, and please watch till the end so you don't miss anything. This is The Frost Giant's Daughter, uh, the title of the story by Robert E. Howard, a short uh, Conan story that he wrote. Very famous and a uh, well-known one among uh, Conan fans. So these sketch cards are drawn on two and a half by three and a half uh, inch size uh, pieces of Bristol board. And uh, you can see how kind of tiny the art really is. It's a very small piece of art. So it's a challenge to put in uh, relevant details like the kind of the, the story had fires and lightning in the sky. So I drew and, uh, in, uh, like pigment liners uh, on the sketch card and I uh, used a uh, color pencil and uh, white paint to uh, add uh, color and details. This is that giant headed super intellectual uh, scientist that I drew. Uh, sort of, you know, he's a lot like the leader from the Hulk with that giant tall head and that little tiny mustache. Uh, here he is, he's in his observatory looking out the window and it's not often that I draw like little figures like this kind of weird monstery dudes and uh, I'm ending up having a lot of affection for this uh, for this guy. I drew this comic when I was pretty serious about uh, submitting something to a heavy metal magazine. Uh, I never did because the magazine folded uh, at the time. It's been relaunched and I think folded and relaunched again since then. But I was really trying to go for a um, kind of a more a different look than I usually got. Uh, I still enjoy working like this and um, honestly I really got to get back to it. This is a pencil uh, panel uh, for a comic project that I'm currently working on. Now you can see they're not what you would call full pencils. Uh, everything isn't drawn out in exact detail and that's mostly because I'll be inking it myself. Now usually if you have an inker you have to deliver full pencils so that uh, you've worked out all the problems and, and the inker can uh, uh, just basically finish the work off adding you know their own little flares to it. Uh, but usually often what I'll do is I'll do something to this level of pencils, start inking it, and then, you know, at any point you can stop and uh, I can add more details or fix problems that I notice as I'm working through it. So this saves a lot of time in that you're, uh, you're, you're working your pencils out and working out major problems, but you have the flexibility to, um, you know, hold details in your head or work things out on the finish uh, so that you don't uh, need to deliver fully finished pencils necessarily to yourself. It's a time saver. This is one of those Sharpie drawings that I did and I had no real future plans for, uh, but I always had it in the back of my head that I was going to color them at some point. So this so is what uh, I did uh, when I finally uh, painted this one in. I decided I was going to use kind of a color that I usually don't use. Just start off with pink and make uh, something you know based on that pink. And uh, pink I've never really been particularly attracted to. It always reminded me of uh, Pepto-Bismol and always made me slightly queasy because of that because I always had that association. But uh, I thought it came out kind of nice. I should use colors more often that I don't usually use because at least I get some interesting and unusual results. Well, I'd like to thank you, uh, all my subscribers, and especially you, all my uh, new subscribers. You know, I'm uh, very happy that you like uh, hearing a little something more about the work that I'm doing, and I hope that um, uh, the videos are entertaining, and really hope that um, you can come back and uh, watch more.